Welcome again to the newsroom. Here are some stories we're tracking at the moment. Some shops have been raised at the Akeri Spare Parts Market, Olodia Papa, in the Ajigun area of Lagos State, following a fire outbreak in the early hours of Wednesday. The Lagos State Fire Service, however, said its Ajigun Fire Station has subdued the fire. According to the statement signed by the director of the service, Margaret Adesheye, the service was alerted of the fire outbreak at about 3.28 a.m. on Wednesday. Adesheye also disclosed that a male adult with a gunshot wound was recovered around the scene of the incident, adding that the cause of the fire is suspicious and will require detailed investigation to ascertain. And six persons have been reportedly killed and 50 others abducted by gunmen in Rafi and Wishishi local government areas of Niger State. Residents say the deaths occurred after an exchange of fire between military operators and gunmen. A gun battle that left several orders injured. A heavily pregnant woman was also killed in the shootout. Confirming the latest incidents, Niger State Commissioner for Internal Security and Humanitarian Affairs Emmanuel Umar said they are yet to ascertain the real number of casualties, adding that the government is not resting on its oars to read the state of all forms of criminality. And the police have cautioned Nigerians against the use of dogs and other pets at polling units for the upcoming governorship and state house of assembly elections. This warning came on the heels of speculations that some persons are planning to heat polling units with their dogs and other pets as part of efforts to ward off fags and other electoral offenders. While the police said such plans are unacceptable and remain an act of electoral infraction as it will cause harassment and intimidation. And a spring booster vaccine against COVID-19 is to be offered to people at most risk of serious illness from the disease to protect them this summer. UK vaccine experts say it should be available to everyone over 75 care home residents and anyone extremely vulnerable aged 5 and over. The Joint Committee on Vaccination and Immunization said hospital admission rates for COVID-19 in autumn 2022 show that the risk of becoming seriously ill from coronavirus was noticeably higher in people over 75. And there was a reduction in the number of fatal accidents and the fatality risk recorded in the global aviation sector last year compared to 2021, according to the International Air Transport Association's latest report. The IETA 2022 safety report showed that there were five fatal accidents involving loss of life to passengers and crew last year compared to seven in 2021 and an improvement on the five-year average. And the United Kingdom government has appointed Richard Montgomery as the new British High Commissioner to Nigeria. The UK government announced his appointment in a statement on Tuesday. Montgomery succeeds Katrina Liang, who has been the UK's representative in Nigeria since November 2018. According to the statement, Liang will be transferred to another diplomatic service appointment. And in sport, Chelsea have kept their season alive by betting Borussia Dortmund 2-0 at Stamford Bridge to progress to the quarterfinals of the Champions League 2-1 in aggregate on Tuesday. Raheem Sterling and Kai Havertz with a twice-taken penalty got the goals as the Blues relieved the pressure on manager Graham Porter. Chelsea had won just three of their previous 16 matches to fall to Fent in the Premier League. That's the latest from the newsroom. Join us at the top of the hour for more updates. Thank you for watching.